right, so now that the core fighter is out of the way, uh, time to get on to the torso. Um, the upper body, which is uh, uh, uses five different runners, uh, plus the polycap set. Uh, there's the, uh, the multicolored one, the blue one, plus three gray uh, for the frame parts, uh, as well as the, uh, the polycap set. Um, so, uh, should be pretty interesting. So I just spent the last uh, 20 minutes or so putting this together. I look over at my camera to uh, to shut the video off, and I realize I never turned the friggin' thing on. So, so much for uh, assembly video of the uh, the torso. Oh well. It's uh, it's interesting enough. Um, these uh, these vents. Um, in the uh, the torso are articulated and uh, they're linked actually, so they uh, they will uh, they will adjust in unison. See here, I'll, uh, I'll get in there with a hobby knife and you might be able to see it. Oh, maybe not so well. I think one of them actually got kind of stuck behind the torso plate. I'll have to fix that. Um, not much else to say. The uh, uh, shoulder pegs are uh, very highly articulated. Um, so the arms will uh, are, will be able to uh, to uh, to move very dynamically. The uh, the cockpit hatch opens in two different ways. Uh, there's the full hatch there opens that way, and then there's just like a little uh, a little door in the center. I don't know if you can see that. Um, let's see here, that goes up and down for uh, for cockpit access. Um, the uh, the core fighter uh, once it's uh, uh, collapsed, uh, just slides into, uh, in like that. So. Fairly simple, very, fairly straightforward. Uh, next I'm going to move on to, uh, the backpack. Um, and hopefully this time the camera will actually work. <laughs> With the assembled backpack unit, um, has two uh, two thrusters on the bottom of it uh, that are articulated, but they're pretty stiff. They don't uh, they don't seem to adjust very much. Um, these are uh, power sockets for the uh, the beam sabers. Um, apparently, they're designed to retract into the body. I'm not exactly sure why. I think it's for um, for one of the uh, the optional sub mecha units that. Uh, uh, Bandai release that's adaptable for this uh, for this model. Um, other than that, not much to say. The uh, outer armor panel comes off and it's detailed on the underside. And uh, yeah, that's a, that's really about it. There's not much else to say about the torso. Um, I could pop all the armor off, but uh, I'm not going to bother right now because it's a pain. Um, but it is articulated. Uh, there's a hinge here. You can see the lower body. Um, can actually, or the, I guess the abdomen can actually tilt forward, and it can tilt from side to side as well, um, which is a, a new feature for this this particular version of RX-78. Uh, none of the other uh, none of the other versions of this Gundam had uh, had much in the way of torso articulation besides like a, a ball jointed waist. Um, 
so that it could uh, so that the entire upper body could uh, could uh, could move relative to the hips. But uh, apart from that, I mean, there wasn't really much to say. Uh, so this one is quite a, a dramatic um, upgrade over the uh, the older ones. So uh, next up will be the uh, the head. So you'll be able to see how the uh, how the eyes work um, once that's all finished. So stay tuned.